Today's video is going to be all about cozy, comforting fragrances. So if that's your type of thing, then please keep on watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you are visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Hayley and I review fragrances. So as I mentioned in the intro, today's video is going to be all about cozy, comforting fragrances. These are the ones I reach for when I really want to feel calm, cozy, collected, almost like sweater weather perfect fragrances. But some of these are a bit more fresh, some of these are a little bit musky, and then some of them have a little bit more oomph. So without further ado, let's jump in to the first fragrance. The first fragrance is a brand called Ella K, and this fragrance is called Musk K. And this is their newest release, and by far now my favorite from the collection. I have some other favorites from the collection, one of them being Letta de Pushka, another one being Ghibli, and also Camila K. But Musk K is definitely very me in a bottle. And if you watch my channel, you will understand why, because this is such a cozy, fresh, clean white musk with iris, with a little bit of pink pepper, and it is my ultimate comfort scent. It is truly incredible. One of the best musks that I own now. This is cashmere sweater in a bottle with a beautiful fresh cream and powdery iris note. It smells clean. It makes me feel calm. It almost makes my eyes roll a little bit. This is what I would reach for when I really want to feel cozy the perfect everyday fragrance in my opinion too. It has a little bit of vetiver in here, which I don't really perceive. And there's also this sand lily note. But if you are a fan of similar musky fragrances to me, I urge you to try this one because it's incredible. Think a little bit like Glossier U, but elevated in performance, but it's in that similar scent profile. Yeah, truly spectacular new release from Ella K. And this is Musk K, my first recommendation. Next up is one of my favorite tea fragrances in my whole collection. And this is Dear Polly by Wilhelm. This is a spectacular fresh black tea fragrance with a juicy green apple up top. It has this black amber note too that grounds it. I wouldn't necessarily say this is an ambery fragrance as such, but it definitely has a base to it that's nice and warm, but I mostly get that black tea mixed with bergamot and green apple. It is really fresh and zingy, really cozy and comforting, and one of the best tea fragrances that I have personally ever smelt. I think this one is so, so special. And if you like a tea fragrance, but you don't want like a powdery, green matcha tea kind of scent, I would urge you to try this one because the black tea just hits a little bit differently. I love the freshness of this. It has about medium longevity. I roughly get about seven hours wear from this. Luckily, it has that black amber in the base. It has a little bit of oak moss and musk to kind of ground it and help with the longevity. But this is such a fresh, energizing fragrance and I will forever love this one. Next up is Yin Transformation by The Harmonist. This is the first Harmonist fragrance in my collection. I've always been so intrigued. I had sampled their fragrances before, but they're quite hard to buy here in the UK. But Yin Transformation is the one that stood out to me the most because this is in a scent profile that I personally reach for the most. It's that clean, fresh, musky profile that I enjoy to wear every day. And this one smells so luxurious. Think the most luxurious shower that you've ever had. You've stepped out and you smell so clean and fresh. That is the vibe that I get from this. And not everyone will want to smell like that, but I often do want to smell clean, fresh, musky. It's a little bit floral. It's a little bit milky. There's an almond milk note in here. It has orchid. 
it's musky, it's really fresh. I get like a fresh laundry vibe from it. Like you've put on the most clean, fresh white linen shirt. There's a little bit of mandarin to give some zing. I get florals, iris specifically. I get lots of creamy iris, a little bit of musk. There's ylang ylang too, but I mostly get that musk in the base. So if you want to smell like incredibly fresh laundry, you've used almond milk oil in the shower. There's some fresh citruses in here too. I think this one is truly special. This is the Parfum version. They have two different versions, the EDP and the Parfum. This one is the Parfum version. It lasts longer on me personally than the EDP. Truly love this one. I would love to know if anyone else has sampled anything from The Harmonist. And if so, what would you recommend to me? I think I've got my eyes on Moon Glory next or maybe Hypnotizing Fire, but I would love to know if you've tried anything from the brand and if so, what your favorites are. Next up is Inlay by Memo Paris. And I think this is my favorite fragrance from Memo. In terms of being what I would reach for the most, Inlay is very me in a bottle. It's fresh, it's light, it's slightly aquatic. There's a very juicy osmanthus note that pulls a little bit like dried apricots. It's got mate tea. There's some spices in here too. It's got a fresh and zingy opening. And then there's lots of iris and musk in the dry down. A very cozy fragrance in my opinion and 100% such an underrated fragrance from Memo. I am first hit with a blast of that osmanthus. It's really front stage and center and I adore osmanthus in fragrances when it smells like jammy apricots. There's a little bit of mint and there's bergamot, but then I'm getting the iris, I'm getting the mate tea, but it's not too in your face. It's very fresh and light. This is actually my newest edition from Memo in my collection. So it's my fifth Memo. And I don't know what took me so long to sample this one. I think I kind of read the notes online and it's not one of the most popular fragrances from the brand. So I put off trying it for a while. I do regret that because it is my favorite or my current favorite from the house. But yeah, if you've tried Inlay, please do let me know what you think about it. I think it's incredible and such a comforting fragrance. Next up, I want to showcase something a little bit more warming and it is none other than Close Up by Olfactive Studio. Now this one leans a little bit more spicy. It definitely has more depth than some of the other fragrances that I've talked about. But every time I wear this one, it just gives me such a cocooning and cozy vibe. Like I'm wrapped up in a sweater, I'm watching TV and the fireplace is lit. I don't have a fireplace, I wish I did, but that is the feeling that this one gives me. It's got spices in here, it's got cherry in here. There's a white tobacco note, which is so incredibly intoxicating. There's also some coffee in here, there's tonka bean. There is a little bit of earthy patchouli. The sweetness does come through from that cherry note. I wouldn't say this is a cherry fragrance, but it is noticeable and it is there. I do get the coffee, more of a black coffee. It's not creamy and lactonic in any way. I get a teeny bit of rose and then you're left with musk, amber and tonka bean in the base. This one is so comforting as I've already said. Yeah, I'm getting almost like a boozy cherry liqueur just from smelling it from the cap. That does dissipate and you're left with more of a spicy tobacco, musky, ambery scent but it has this transparency and this lightness to it. It's not super heavy on the skin. You might be thinking some of the notes that I've said sound similar to maybe something like Angel Share or Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford minus the cherry or even Mandole from Soradora, but this one has this lightness to it and that is why I've been loving it so much. I haven't even had it that long and I've definitely been reaching for it quite a lot. So yeah, I'd recommend getting a sample of this one if you like the sound of the notes. So that was Close Up by Olfactive Studio. And last, but by no means least, we have Gris Chanel by BDK. This is a rainy day fragrance in my opinion. The ultimate cozy fragrance. This is sweater weather. You're going to get cardamom, 
fig and sandalwood. Those are the three notes that I get the most personally. The fig isn't too green, it's actually quite juicy. I do get a lot of cardamom and I love cardamom in fragrances. One of my favorite notes in fragrances actually. There's a black tea note in here, there's iris again. And if you have noticed, iris is a bit of a theme in this video as being a cozy and comforting note for my tastes anyway. So you've got that black tea, you've got that iris, you've got that sandalwood, as I've mentioned, that almost gives this a creamy effect to the overall composition and a little bit of tonka bean, which isn't that noticeable to me. It's mostly fig, cardamom and sandalwood to me. I'm sure many of you have tested this one, but to me, it's the ultimate rainy day fragrance. I love the original. I also love the extra. They are giving different things to me at least, but yeah, this is the last fragrance in the list. So those were all of the fragrances that I wanted to share with you in today's video. Let me know your thoughts on any of the fragrances that I mentioned today, but I would love to know what your favorite cozy, comforting fragrances are. Please do let me know down in the comments so I can find some new recommendations through you. But thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope to see you in a future video to come. Thank you so much and goodbye.